tell me about the title character, Poppy Shakespeare, because she really comes in and shakes mm. things up. Yeah, I mean, I guess um, with, with Poppy, what I was doing was um, exploring ideas of normality and, and what normality is. And, um, I mean, it's a word that's used a lot, whether something's normal or abnormal or whatever. And I think really the only conclusion I, I can come to is that normality is what you're familiar with um, for you. And that um, that's quite dangerous as well, because um, the most extraordinary things can become normalized. Um, and, for example, one, one image that, it's a very extreme image, but one image that I had in my mind throughout writing the novel was of um, when they liberated the concentration camps at the end of the Second World War, and apparently um, some of the, in particular, older prisoners refused to leave, although the gates were open. And um, there was some, you know, and my understanding of that, from obviously, obviously a very much outside perspective, but I would imagine that it had become normal, you know, that that world was now the world. And then anything else is threatening, um, just as, you know, to somebody in the street, um, you know, quite possibly one of the worst things they could imagine is to be plucked up and put in a psychiatric hospital. That would be very frightening and, and for good reason, you know. But within the psychiatric hospital, you've got this very contained world, which I think is, is the crucial thing, um, in which virtually everything's upside down. I mean, um, what would normally be considered sort of normal outside is considered to compl you know, here to be abnormal is normal, to be mad is normal. Um, so with Poppy, what I was trying to do was um, create, well, take somebody basically who um, has been defined as normal, I mean, whatever that means, but certainly who has a job and who has a, you know, a, a child and, you know, this sort of thing, and then just put her into this upside down world and, and, and put the two normalities against each other and see what happened. Um, and of course what happens in a way is that um, you know she starts to normalize the new world and and Anne starts to normalize Poppy's world so they you know those, those two normalities start to affect each other. Uh, Poppy's description of how Poppy came to be there is <laughs> pretty bizarre and and I still don't know whether it's true or not mm. because she goes for a job interview and ends up being declared mentally ill mm. Take me through that. Well, I, I kind of... Um, Don't want to give too much of a word. Yeah, I, I sort of feel it's up to readers to decide. I mean, um, nothing in the novel is really literal. So, you know, there is always this kind of, is this real or is this not real? Or, you know, who do I trust? And, and who's mad and who's not? And what does that mean anyway? Um, I mean, very bizarre things do happen. It, it is, it's not a literal novel. Um, it's not realist in that sense. Um, so, you know, who knows? I mean, they, they have to find some normal people from somewhere, you know. They, I mean, my sort of idea, in a way, is that, you know, they have to put this yardstick in there because they, they've got to come up with a way of measuring madness. And what do you do? You know, um, you can't x-ray someone. You know, you can't do a blood test. And, you know, there, there's nothing. It's, it's an opinion. And it's also an opinion in relation to something else, which is what I find really interesting. I mean, in some senses, you know, the purpose of mad people is to reassure everybody else that they're sane. You know? So um, there's this. So there's always a, we're only us are only happy if we can point to them. Yes, we define ourselves by defining them, and I think that you know that goes on in all sorts of areas. You know, I mean, really, just about everything. You know, men and women, and you know, black and white, whatever. Um, it's it, it's a it's a human thing. I think very much. To me, there really isn't this line. There really isn't a line between. Um, mental health and mental illness, not at all. Um, and that's not to say that mental illness isn't a reality, of course it is. And it, uh, you know, when it, at its most extreme, when somebody really can't function and there are, you know, voices rebounding off the walls or, you know, whatever it is, it's terrible and terrifying and destroys lives. Um, you know, both of the person suffering, of the people that care for them, you know, it's a very real thing. It's not, I'm not dismissing it. I'm just saying that. Um, perhaps there's no such thing as mental health, you know. Maybe, maybe that's what I'm saying. You know, there's a continuum. And, and I think it's kind of, again, with this sort of defining ourselves by defining them thing, um, it's very handy to see it as a completely separate thing. And um, in fact, what, one of the things I'm trying to do in the book is, is sort of show that actually these are people that you can relate to. Their experiences might be quite extreme, but um, they are human experiences. You know, they're, they're not in a, in a different category.
they're, they're just human experiences. It's just, it is amazing what the mind can do. Good luck. Uh, you've got a great voice. Oh. Very distinctive. Thank Nicely you. Done. The book is Poppy Shakespeare, first novel by Claire Allen, and Poppy Shakespeare is published by Bond Street Books, distributed by Doubleday Canada.